And finally, the Gasparilla Bowl. This is UCF and Florida. This one's on Wednesday night. Sorry, Thursday night. Good gracious. That's getting all my days mixed up. It's at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa. It's UCF and Florida. Florida is now a seven-point favorite here. And why they are a seven-point favorite, I have no idea other than just more talent, I guess. I don't know. None of the numbers would really seem to justify that with the guys that they have out because they've got a ton of dudes that are that are leaving, transferring, et cetera. I mean, it's just ridiculous. They fired Dan Mullen. Anthony Richardson, AR-15, is out with an injury. Wide receiver Jacob Copeland. The linebacker Diabate is out. However, the Florida interim coach, Greg Knox, is 2-0. and as an interim coach, he's 1-0 at Mississippi State. And, of course, they got the win over Florida State to end the year. But, man, Florida win six against the spread in their last six non-conference games. They are win six against the spread in their last six games overall. It seemed like they were just kind of done with the season, right? And when I say win six against the spread in their last six, they were still three-and-a-half-point favorites against Florida State when the line closed. And they only won by three. So they didn't cover the spread, but they did win the game. So I guess that's good. UCF, I mean, there's... A, the numbers don't really work out well for them here. They I, I, Let me take that back. The trends do not work out well for them. The numbers do. The numbers really look good. UCF could actually get running back Isaiah Bowser back. But I just, I, I don't see, I think, I think UCF is going to be much more fired up for this game. That's what I think. And with it being a full touchdown, why not? For, for pick them purposes, let's go on and do it. Let's go on and do it. I'll, I'll take UCF uh, to cover the seven here. I, I just think that they are going to be much more fired up than, than Florida. The gifts on this one, by the way, a gift suite, headphones, a cooler backpack, a uh, beach towel, and an ice shaker bottle. Not exactly the most creative bunch that I have seen, but alas, it's not bad. But yes, I will take UCF to cover the seven. I think this game means something to them because of the names on the jersey as opposed to, uh, or at least the names on the front of the jersey, as opposed to anything else. Florida, I think, kind of just wants to get done with the season. That's that's my initial impression. Now, Greg Knox may be a master motivator, and he may be able to actually get them fired up for this one. Like, this is supposed to be little brother. You're supposed to beat them down. You know, don't let them da-da-da-da-da. But we'll see. It's kind of tough to do, especially in a bowl game in December you know, you've already swapped out coaches. Your new coach is coming in. Maybe they get fired up for the new coach. Who knows? Uh, but I'll take UCF to cover the seven. I expect it to be kind of close and, and kind of low scoring. That's what I expect. I expect defenses to show up in this one. Uh, and, and maybe a lot of running. <laughs> a lot of running. Quick game. Get out of here with the Gasparilla Bowl. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.